Hey, what's up? John from VideoFort.com here, bringing you a new After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to win the lottery. Yes, I'm going to teach you how to rig the lottery in your local state area. Now, this is against federal regulations, but uh, sometimes we got to bend and break the rules a little bit. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go up to composition new and we are going to create a composition that is 250 pixels by width and 125 pixels by height essentially we want if you guys want to scale this we want the width to be twice the amount as the height so cool stuff and we're going to set the duration to one second and 15 frames which is like 45 frames and we're going to call this our ball map getting real technical uh, don't worry about the color that doesn't really matter why because we're going to go to layer new solid and do a white solid and uh I don't really matter if you name that. That doesn't, not a big deal. And so we've got a white solid. And let's go ahead and bring up our text layer. And make sure that your text is black. So I want a black text. And we're going to click on here. We bring this down to 45 pixels. And type the number 1. Cool. And we can go through and change all the different... Uh, fonts if we want to let's go ahead and find a good one here now we're not really gonna rag the lottery if you didn't figure that out yet we're just gonna do a cool effect that is gonna be lottery balls flying all over the screen and from there you guys can kind of do whatever you want and this isn't limited to only the lottery balls uh, that's just kind of the setup that I'm doing so and enough of this. Let's just go with Helvetica. No, that's not very. That's not very uh, lottery ball looking, is it? Maybe Hobo STD. <laughs> that's really Hobo STD. That's what you're gonna call this font. That's um. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to talk more on that subject. All right, so we've got our number. And uh, from there, let's go back up to composition, new composition. And let's name this ball. And okay. So this is going to be our map. And we got to go back into the comp settings and change this to 150. And we're going to make that 150 as well. And we've got that set. So let's go into our ball map and add an expression to this number. This is going to make it so that we don't have to make a bunch of numbers for our lottery balls. So what we're going to do is option click on source text. And that's going to bring up our expression options. Let's go ahead and delete that text that's already in there. And we're going to type in time to frames parentheses time and parentheses plus one now what does that mean that means that the time that we're on which is zero 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 to frame so that's going to be like to the frames and it's going to add one and then as it scrubs through it'll add another one depending on what frame we're on so that's uh more or less what it means it works so if yours works like mine you did it correct if yours does not look like mine then you need to redo your expression and uh you know spelling counts guys we're not in first grade anymore Okay, done with that.
with that. So uh, let's go to our ball composition and drop our ball map into here. Boom, almost looking like a lottery ball. I know we're, we're very close to being there. Let's go ahead and type in sphere in our effects panel over there and drag and drop CC sphere onto that layer. And if we go over to our effects controls and bring down the radius to 50, there's like a quarter of what that is. Let's maybe increase that up a little bit. Right about there looks good. There we go, boom, we've got our lottery ball. And if we scrub through, our lottery ball changes numbers. How fantastic, super duper fancy. Let's uh, drop down the light and change that a little bit. Let's bring the light height up. And I'm gonna let you guys determine this on your own. I mean, you can really do whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna bring it to about here because it gives it still a nice roundness without it being too overly round. And I'm even gonna change where the light direction is coming from. I like it coming from over here because that's what I'm gonna do. You can also change the shading, make it a little more ambient. I don't know, just brighten it up a little bit or diffuse it. You know, I'm gonna keep the diffusion up. And uh, yeah, just play around with it and do what you think looks good. I'm gonna do what I think looks good and go from there. Probably a good idea. All right, we can also drop down rotation and get real crazy. Let's go ahead and do it down here. So we'll go all the way down to our effects panel, drop down rotation, and let's add some expressions here. Uh, I don't know if you guys have watched my previous uh, beginner's tutorial about expressions. If you haven't, go ahead and check that out. It's pretty awesome. But uh, we're gonna use the wiggle expression that we learned in that one. So let's go ahead and option, click on our stopwatch, and type in wiggle. And I'm gonna have it go about uh, let's see how 35 times looks with a variation of 50. Cool. And let's actually copy this. So Command C if you're on a Mac, Control C if you are on a PC. And let's go ahead and add that expression to the Y. And I'm gonna keep that the same, but then on the Z, we're gonna change up the second amount. So go ahead and option click on Z, do Command V or Control V if you're on a PC to paste it. And let's change this one to 80. Well, not 800, that would be wild. Um, and you have to keep these ones on the same because that's the amount of times it's gonna wiggle. And if you offset those, it's not going to keep the number. Uh, centered very well. It'll be all crazy, but if you set the wiggle up right, it'll kind of look like you've got numbers rotating all around the ball, going from 1 to 45. So we've got our lottery balls set up. Let's go ahead and go up to composition, new composition, and make this 1920 by 1080. And we're going to name this the Lottery, brought to you by videofort.com. No, I'm just joking around. Let's also go ahead and change the duration to 20 seconds. That'll give us a little extra space. Sweet, and say okay. From here, we're gonna go up to layer, new, solid, and should have said this at the beginning, we need a plugin called Trap Code Particular. That's uh, how we're gonna get all these different lottery balls on there. So I'm gonna call this Lotto Balls and say okay. And then I'm gonna go over to our effects and presets and search for particular. Whoop, there it is. <laughs> yeah, that's a song. Whoop, there it is. Okay. All right, so uh, lottery balls, we've got that made. If we uh, bring down our timeline, we can see all these you know, spheres being 
born and cool stuff. So awesome. Uh, from here, let's go ahead and go down to emitter. And we're going to bring our particles to 45. Sweet. And then we're going to move 45 frames ahead. So that's once it gets to 115. Let's just go ahead and type it in here. One second and 15 frames, that is. Okay. And we are going to keyframe that. And if we press U, we can bring our keyframes up. And this actually needs to be at the beginning. So I'll just set that at the beginning. And then we'll bring this down to zero. So we've got our zero set up at the 115 mark. Then we're going to go to the beginning and make sure we have our 45 set up there. So our 45 set up there. And then we're going to highlight these. Do a right click and say toggle hold keyframes. So that'll keep it so that we have 45 of these guys in the space and they're not going to be getting all cry cry on us. They'll be staying there. So. Okay, from there we need to set our emitter type to sphere. That's kind of a funny word. And go down to velocity and we're going to crank that up to 250. And emitter sizes are going to change to 1000 on the X and 500 on the Y and Z. Sometimes if you sing while you're doing your After Effects, you'll actually create better effects. Um, I know many visual effects artists that do this um, while they're working. They, they sing out the stuff they're doing and it just uh, gives them the best effects ever. So go on down to Direction or Up and we're going to make it directional as well because uh, that just kind of allows us to toggle the X, Y, Z rotations and get a little more out of our stuff. So let's drop down our particle menu now and go through these. We are going to change our particle life to 20. Bring that up. And that's uh, the length of our duration, so that means that these won't die out on us. <laughs> Don't go dying on me now. And then we'll change particle type to textured polygon. And what that's going to allow us to do is take our ball and put it into there. But what we need to do first is go to our project window and bring our ball comp in. And we can turn it off because we don't need to see it. And we'll go back to our effects window and select Lotto Balls. And go back down underneath our texture window. And now if we go to Layer, we can choose Ball. And uh, once we get to Time Stamping, we got to go to Time Sampling and choose Random still frame and that's important to do because that will give us the different balls numbers on there and once we bring up the size I'll bring it up to 80 get it nice and big boom you can see our balls lots of them they're huge so we can scrub through now in time and we've got our Lottery balls. Um, some of them are repeating, but let's be honest, it's not that big of a deal because we can do a lot of stuff avoiding that. It's not a real lottery, so we can cheat and have more than one. That's fine. No one's, no one's going to go crazy over that. So let's go ahead and go back down to Big Zix. If we drop that down, we're just going to check out some settings in here real quick. We can change the, uh, make sure it's on air. So after we make sure that it's at air, we're going to go down to air and change our air resistance. Let's bring it up to like four. And that'll kind of make the balls float a little more. And give them, give them a little more resistance to the air and stuff. 
And let's also bring up spin amplitude. Oh, we're crazy on this one. Boom. Let's try out 600. And the spin frequency, let's get it up to two. So that's uh, really going to give us a nice you know, spread out effect here. And we'll just be all flying around. And, you know, I feel like uh, it really is the lottery. I'm going to bring down this resolution just a little bit to a third. You see that better. I can scrub through. So yeah, that's uh, pretty nice. From here, we can uh, make it look a little bit better. Let's go up to composition. Actually, let's go up to layer, new, solid. And uh, yeah, white solid's fine. We're just going to add a ramp to this. So search for a ramp. And if you all don't remember, a ramp is a gradient. That's all it is. I'll throw that on there. I am going to make a radial ramp and pretty much just reverse these colors. So I'm going to set that to white and this to black. I'll give us a nice little look there. And also center this. We've got that white spot in the middle, and I can move this around to uh, and give us a cool vignette look. And then we just need to bring this down behind everything. And let's just call this background. So VKG background. That looks pretty darn snazzy. OK, so we've got our background in there. Last thing to add would be a camera. So if you go up to layer new camera, let's just set up a 50 millimeter. Say OK. And now we can uh, go up and grab our orbit camera tool. And we can kind of see our 3D to life. How cool. So maybe, uh, maybe you will win the lottery, but only if you play. I am uh, probably not going to be playing. So now if you want, you can animate your camera and make it fly through the balls or maybe throw some text up on here and make it look cool. I'll go ahead and RAM preview this so you can see it in full effect. And there we go. We just got a big old lottery ball scene going on. They're kind of jumping around everywhere. And, you know, it looks like someone might just reach in and grab one or it'll get shot out or something. I don't know. Who's going to win? Video for it. That's who. All right. So that wraps it up today, guys. Go ahead and click subscribe to the right. We love it when you do that. Uh, also, please show me what you are doing with this effect. Uh, you know, it's, it's more versatile than just making um, a bunch of lottery balls. I want to know how you guys are using it. Post videos in the comments below. Like, uh, we love seeing your work and really uh, appreciate it. And uh, comments, like, check out videofort.com for awesome stock footage. And uh, don't forget... Have a great day, guys. Later.